few clouds out there on the horizon as we look down on almost all of Albuquerque. This view from the crest is always spectacular, especially here in the early morning hours. Well, no end in sight to our heat wave and the forecast highs in the triple digits continuing well into perhaps maybe even through next week. Uh, monsoon storm chances uh, they never go completely away, but they do stay on the lower side. Uh, we are going to see that severe weather threat start to return to northeast New Mexico. I think after today, why is it so hot? Essentially, you know, it's always hot this time of year, but when the upper level high is directly overhead, you have a little bit of a taller stack of air and that supports a little bit of extra warming during the afternoon. And essentially, that's what's going on. You know, areas west of the high. That's where the good monsoon moisture feed is going to be seen uh, directed to our west into Arizona and Southern California. Uh, so we have a little leftover moisture and with the heating of the afternoon, skies boil over with these scattered to isolated showers and storms favoring the southern mountains. Uh, a lot of us back well into the 90s and triple digits. Every bit as hot as yesterday. Look at that 110 in Roswell. I think Albuquerque has a slightly better chance, uh, a little bit more hope for a late day gusty thunder shower. Uh, could just be wind like yesterday. That took some heat out of the air. I think a couple of us will get lucky though and get rain cooled. Uh, widespread heat advisories through central portions of eastern New Mexico. It's an excessive heat warning today with that high back at 110 uh, for Chavez County in the Roswell area. Uh, lows tonight holding in the 70s for most of us. Uh, there's more comfy 50s and 60s being seen where skies are a step clearer across northern New Mexico. Now tomorrow, I think the best chance at storms gets pushed a little bit further south and east. And uh, tomorrow will be a day where we have to eye up northeast New Mexico for the severe weather threat. Areas up around Clayton. Did you see Albuquerque's high at 101 tomorrow? Well, we beat that on Friday and hit 103 and there's an additional push south and eastward of the moisture. So it's areas further south and east of Albuquerque with the chance of scattered to isolated storms. Uh, once again on Friday afternoon, we'll have to keep watch on northeast New Mexico for some potential severe, severe weather. Had a little moisture around in northwest New Mexico in the Four Corners area yesterday. Step drier today, step brighter. Uh, got you at 97 in Farmington. Uh, by tomorrow, we're up at 99. We've been teasing this first 100 degree day. It's in sight and getting closer. If we don't do it Thursday, we'll probably do it Friday. Uh, we've got a better, better chance, I should say, of hitting 100, and we could do it several days in a row early next week. Next week could even be hotter than this week in spots. Uh, southwest New Mexico uh, had the scattered showers and thunderstorms trying to roll off the mountains with some success yesterday. They'll try again, uh, maybe with a bit more success. 93 today in Silver City, 95 tomorrow. Still a good chance at storms and then lower storm chances, but they never go away. Uh, boy, look at that pair of 97s for Saturday and Sunday for you in Silver City. Uh, Roswell 110 for the second day in a row. That would tie the record. Uh, some isolated showers and storms. They'll form on the Sacramento's have little success rolling off the mountains, but we'll have to watch for it. Uh, not quite as hot Thursday, Friday, but at 108, finally below 105 for just a couple days over the weekend before the heat rebuilds early next week. Northeast New Mexico scattered to isolated storm can't be ruled out. Today is not yet a severe weather threat day. Uh, high 94 in Las Vegas, 95 Thursday, Friday. The storms up closer to Clayton than here in Las Vegas, but a uh, little heat easing this weekend with the storm chances. Española 97, Santa Fe 93. An isolated shower storm can't be ruled out, but we're mainly dry in the area through Friday. A little bit better storm chance Saturday. Well, we hit 101 yesterday at the Sunport. Today we'll call it 100 degrees. Uh, we do have those temperatures at 100 or above up and down the River Valley. A uh, little bit better chance for the later day gusty storm. We'll call it a 20 percenter. 10% or tomorrow, and then we will dry that forecast completely up Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we've got this little bit of a heat spike Friday and then slight easing for the weekend and then potentially another bump up uh, above 100 again early next week. But again, no end in sight, Royal, to these triple digit afternoons.